Welcome back. I'm Callie. This is Jay. And this is yet another episode of Mix It Up with CrossFit. And today, Jay has some awesome leg stuff for us. Right, Jay? Yeah, so today we're going to focus on the lower body. So the last video, we focused on kind of like upper body, kind of like a finisher. Today, we're going to work on a nice, just pure lower body workout. Um, we're going to incorporate three movements. So last time was a couplet. This time is going to be a triplet. Okay. And it's going to be more task priority. So the last one was time priority, where we did seven minutes. This one, we're going to go five rounds. Okay. So the three movements are going to be jump rope, dumbbell box step overs, and jump squats. Okay. So we're still going to look to get the heart rate up. We're still going to look to incorporate that concept of intensity. But we're going to add more movements that are going to focus on the glutes, uh, single leg, double leg movements, and also the calves from a jump roping perspective, which can also be used metabolically as well. Right. You ready? I am. All right, let's do it. <laughs> So the first one, jump rope, is how you pick the rope up. And that's why you do a couple jump rope singles, just kind of get used to it. All right, good, we can put that down. Now the next one's gonna be dumbbell box step overs. So let's do, just do four. So you're gonna step up on the box, go ahead, and off the other side. Perfect, and switch legs on the way back. Now something that you have to be careful with this movement is that you can make it harder if you raise the box, but what you have to be careful of, um, let's have you step back on the box, yeah, and now when you step off the box, just step off real quick and pause. Pause, yeah. So this is the motion that you have to be careful of for right there in the knee. Meaning if the box is too high or when you step off the box, you're really kind of landing on your toe and pressing forward, it can put a little bit of stress on the knee. So what I would say for that is if you're not quite strong enough to be able to step off the box correctly, then just do normal box step ups. Meaning I'll just have you kind of turn around and I'll just have you step on the box and step back down, same side. Don't step over. Sorry. So step on, and then step off. Yeah, so that would kind of be like the first step, right? Um, and then you can make it more challenging by raising the box up, but I said make sure you kind of have that muscular integrity of the quads and hamstrings, so when you do step off the box, you're able to kind of land in the appropriate position to keep kind of unwanted stress off the kneecap, right? So then the third movement, as you do that, is gonna be jump squats. So let's have you go right here, and let's just do three jump squats. Good, now when you hit that bottom position, keep your chest up a little bit high, there, keep the stomach tight, and go ahead. Good, so there's gonna be 10 of those. So the workout is five rounds. We're gonna go 100 jump rope singles, we're gonna go uh, 20 box step overs, and we're gonna do 10 jump squats. Okay. So it is a higher volume workout. I would prescribe something of this volume to someone who's more, who's been doing these type of movements longer. If you're newer to it, I'll bring it down to maybe three rounds, or you can just put a time domain on it, whether you do like five, seven, 10 minutes, or you can do five rounds and bring the rep count down. So the overall total volume is down. Something to think about though, if you're coupling this on a heavy squat day or a heavy pull day, a heavy leg day, then yeah, bring the volume down, okay. right? Make the intensity a little bit less. If it's more of a lighter leg day, then you might bring the, the volume here up and just make it more of kind of like a metabolic effect for the legs. Okay. Does that make sense? It does make sense. All right, you ready? I am. All right, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so ready, we got five rounds. In three, two, one, go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Nine. Uh, Got to move forward, hitting the rings. <laughs> Real life situations. Okay. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. All right, box step overs. No music, and I just stare at you. Two, <laughs> three, <laughs> four. Yeah, I mean, normally that music on, keep stepping, and it's gonna make it a little bit more fun. Six, let's get to 10. Seven, eight, nine, 10, good, dumbbells down, and 10 jump squats. One, two, three, four, five, keep your chest up, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good, back to the jump rope. So, <laughs> so you, see, that was, you see, that was one round, and we scaled the numbers down a lot, and you right. can still feel it, right? Um, the other cool thing that you can do is, we talked about it in a couple of the videos, but you always want to vary the planes of movement. 
right? So whether that's transverse, frontal, sagittal. So if everything's kind of like in this fashion, being like just straight up, straight down, then you're almost staying in that sagittal plane, especially kind of all you do is squatting. So at some point, you can even change it up where you might do lateral step ups here and kind of hitting different planes of movement just to get different muscular recruitment and right. to uh, add more variance to it, which can help any athlete or any person in training. Yeah, um, yeah so we got four more rounds. Let's get to work. <laughs> Good work. Are you 700% of them? <laughs> so yeah, so that'd, that'd be a, a, another kind of like lower body workout. Glutes, calves, hamstrings, quads. Okay. We're, we're even gonna work the core and we're gonna get your heart rate up a little bit. Um, so nice fun. Yeah, awesome. Um, and I like the fact that you talked about the, what'd you call it, the planes, planes of, of movement. movement. Yeah. Um, for bodybuilding, it's all about hitting the muscle from different angles. Mm -hmm. So it's important for what we do as well. Yeah. Um, as you can tell. One round is really pretty good for me. <laughs> so, um, so awesome. Okay. So for the next series, we're going to do a kind of like full body. Yep. We work on more of a full body. So incorporate arms, shoulders, um, lower body. So yeah. Awesome. I'll have, my, I'll have the same outfit on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you guys next week. <laughs>